awesome. All right, here is a live look outside on another weather alert day. Look at those bright skies and scorching temperatures outside of, uh, above the Superdome there. Yeah, you feel bad for yeah. the dome right there because that sun's just beaten down. <laughs> Many of you have yet stepped outside today. You felt those similar temperatures. It was just oppressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's turn things over to meteorologist Derek Sibley. Derek, we have a couple more days of this, I guess, too. Yeah, it looks like it's going to last here for quite a while, you guys. And plus, the heat's not the only thing that we're tracking right now. We're also tracking showers and thunderstorms here, too, if you believe it. Mainly along the North Shore is where we're seeing all that activity. There is that severe thunderstorm morning still in effect for St. Tammany Parish, and this goes until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Plenty of lightning strikes associated with this. You can see the dark red, which indicates where some of the heaviest rain, maybe even some small hail associated with this as well. Really the main threat with these storms though along the North Shore is going to be some of that gusty wind that we're seeing here, which is why the Weather Service prompted that severe thunderstorm warning. So here are some of the locations that could be impacted here. Madisonville around 457, so just before 5 o'clock and up towards North Pass, 504. Mandeville, you got around 509 when those storms here begin to move in. Uh, Florinville around 560. Big Branch 517, just to name out a couple more locations there. Meanwhile, back to the west, we did have a severe thunderstorm warning for Saint, uh, for Saint, for uh, Tangibahoa Parish, and that has since expired. But we're still looking at some strong thunderstorms, though, pushing into uh, Ponchatoula and also up towards Hammond. Nothing severe right now. Special weather statement here in effect for some of those thunderstorms here moving down towards the south here. And then you can see that outflow boundary, which indicates some of that rushing air from the storms moving its way uh, from north to south. Let's go down towards. Uh, down towards Terrebonne and Lafouche Parish, looking at some isolated to scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms right now near Thibodeau, southwest of Homa is where we're watching these as well. Nothing strong, nothing severe, just a couple of pop-ups here and there across those spots, and really the rest of us are looking at uh, some mainly dry conditions uh, uh, for us to tap into here currently. Let's watch, uh, switch over to Max 2 if we can. Control them really quickly. I'm trying to switch over there myself, but there you go. We got current temperature readings into the low to mid 90s. 94 at Lakefront and 95 is the temperature currently in Slidell. So we're still dealing with the heat on top of some of the gusty thunderstorms that we're seeing currently along the North Shore. And by the way, look at the feel like temperature in Slidell. Currently around 113 when you factor in relative humidity. 107 is what it feels like right now in Kenner. We still have the heat alerts in effect. It's that excessive heat warning until 6. We got another one for tomorrow between 10 to 7. That's in a, that's a, the uh, heat advisory, and that's for the heat index values around 112, not higher in some spots. Look at the feel like temperatures forecast as we head into tomorrow. Anywhere between 100 to 106 degrees, more of the same as expected again as we head into the day on Saturday afternoon. So really, it's all thanks to this pattern that we've been stuck in, this upper level high pressure system. Well, that's really going to continue to build just off to the west of us. We'll still be a little bit on the downstream side effects here, so that's still why it's still going to be hot and dry for most of us across many locations. Although, you know, a couple of pop up showers and thunderstorms could still develop. Here's what it looks like now and then going into 8 o'clock this evening. A lot of this begins to subside. Let's take you into the day tomorrow. Some scattered showers and maybe some thunderstorms taking shape, but a lot of it looks like it's mainly focused off to the west. River parishes back towards Baton Rouge and even west of that. Certainly a possibility here before dissipating as we head into tomorrow night. More showers and storms could once again take shape as we head into the day on Saturday. Meanwhile, we're tracking Ernesto. Pretty strong system right now. It's a hurricane at the moment and still expected to intensify. We do have hurricane warnings in effect here for the island of Bermuda. There's the forecast track. This jet stream is going to take it to the north over over the North Atlantic Ocean and pretty much weaken here as they encounter some upper level conditions and also some cooler sea surface temperatures. WDSU first warning seven day forecast showing highs into the mid 90s. Lower rain chances though after today, some pop up shower and thunderstorm activity here and there still can't be completely ruled out.